says that up to 2050 year, uh, the population will reach 9.8 billion, while in the same time, the, the land base, the cultivated land base per capita will fade 30%, which is unsustainable. So this is key motivation for us uh, to, as a company, to engage technology into the uh, agronomy and into the farming businesses in order to improve their productivity. Uh, we tackle a problem which is in general a global problem which is low agro-business productivity. It is due to uh, various factors uh, which among the most important is lack of knowledge of farmers, uh, inadequate uh, uh, agrotechnical procedures, a low economy of scale, uh, global climate change, and uh, lack of on-site data, data analysis. So a lot of uh, questions uh, appear in the air for pure farmers or agronomy engineers, which brings uh, at the end of the day, it brings the productivity to very low level, which results then with abandoned fields, with abandoned industry, etc. And we, as a bio ICT, as a technological background uh, team, and as well as uh, experience with uh, more than two decades of uh, in uh, agriculture uh, uh, farming businesses and in 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 the um, beekeeping, so we combine the technology and the agronomy, uh, the problems that we face in order to tackle them, to address them and mitigate and propose solution. This is why uh, uh, many of these uh, factors could be addressed and mitigated by technology. This is why we uh, come to a so, uh, proposal solution, which is uh, called AgroSense, which is meteorological station, which is piece of hardware. It look like uh, this box. We, will, we plan to put it into the field of the owner, of the customer, to record the data uh, permanently, to send to the cloud, and to post-process them and deliver to the customer. So this is how uh, he can uh, have, uh, be always on top of the situation of his crops and he can plan his decisions, measures, and uh, uh, in order to protect the, the crops and to, uh, to gain production, better quality and safe costs. This is how the application will look like as, as a dashboard. It will come to, to the mobile phone or to the uh, computer, showing as a canopy a real situation on the ground with his crops, with his uh, field. And then it will uh, bring him uh, also a general overview of the situation and it will propose measures which needs to be done. And it is in order to eliminate the guest factor in decision making and to make right things on right time. So our customers uh, are uh, agro, uh, big uh, agro, agro cultural companies, agronomy engineers, as well as individual farmers who in general lack of uh, knowledge, while the others uh, lack proper tool to, uh, to uh, make their decisions and save, uh, save the crops and increase their productivity. So what we propose, what the product proposed to the customer is increased productivity. They directly gain money from that, the customers. The recent studies have shown that uh, this product becomes for, uh, affordable for the customers. Uh, it is, uh, it even brings uh, a very quick return on investment, even with a, with a size of a farmer up to two hectares, it's less than a year. It, it offers 24 seven monitoring on his, uh, on his uh, plants, on his crops, and then it can be uh, reached uh, anytime and anywhere. 
this is our revenue model. So we plan to charge per hardware unit, per software subscription, per consultant services, data analytics, system support, and as well as advertising on the forum. Our competition among various companies, we find uh, uh, li Libellium or Libellium, very known and uh, front runner of worldwide IoT. As a competitor, which is premium and, and expensive, and regional company called Pinova Meteo from Croatia, which does not have all the functionalities. They are present in the market, just three competitor applications exist on the market, so Macedonia is our, let's say, uh, uh, main uh, launch market, start market, test market, and only we consider it as un unexplored. And BioICT plans to offer the same functionalities as Libellium with 40% uh, less uh, price, rather than uh, more functionalities than uh, Pinova Meteo with 15% lower price. This margin we plan to monetize when we, uh, to use margin when we plan to, to approach uh, regional markets. So our key differentiation will be uh, local, brilliant local support on the local market, as well as our functionalities to expand uh, our product into the beekeeping uh, sphere or uh, in, in farming business. So our roadmap is like on the slides shown. We plan to start in October, uh, uh, we plan to start uh, tests with five, six uh, customers, uh, real field tests, and then to launch the local market on uh, April 2020. This is our uh, five years customer revenue projection, customers and revenue. It's not very aggressive because the agro industry is not very aggressive. This is why we had to. This is our team. It's me. It's uh, as uh, business development, PhD, uh, Zivko Kokolanski as technical lead, Boris Tanaskos as software lead, and Vatka Natsev as agriculture lead. Uh, we are asking for 20K from the accelerator just to uh, reach, to make the MVP and launch the test markets. And this is it. Thank you. <laughs> Questions, please. Uh, uh, so, uh, basically, can you explain us the technology that is being used uh, behind the uh, yeah, apparatus, okay. so sensors, yeah, uh, how you okay. put it together? It is, the technology is based on the computer, a main computer unit with, uh, with microcontroller who processes the sensors and condition the sensors, read the sensors, then send via mobile network to the cloud all the data, and then the data is stored into the cloud, processed, analyzed, and delivered in the forms of report and status to the customers. So basically it is uh, general purpose sensors, which our competition uses, it's nothing secret. Our technology is uh, integration of the off-the-shelf sensors plus our uh, software off-the-shelf hardware of already built computers. So we act like system integrators end-to-end -to, -end to deliver the valuable information from the fields to the end users. Uh, are products like this uh, used in the region at least? Uh, they are probably used uh, yes, they are. widely, uh, but what about examples here? Fortunately for us, it's not uh, widely used. Even we and the region is mainly agricultural, so it's uh, not penetrated. So I, in so far in our analysis, showed only three applications are in Macedonia. And in Macedonia, there are around the 1,000 companies, big size companies uh, dealing with agriculture and there are 70,000 individual farmers. 
So three is nothing. I mean, it's just test. I would say test. And we uh, talked to the customers, to the clients. We found very good positive feedback, which gives us additional energy to start uh, the, the field trials immediately. OK, I have two questions. Uh, first, uh, I didn't saw anything about uh, marketing and sales strategy. And uh, afterwards, how you will reach the, the farmers? And the second question is, what about warranty of your product? Because you are uh, giving hardware to the farmers, yes? Yes, we give hardware. Okay. It's going to be and installation, for Also them. installation. Who is doing the installations? And Installation is very simple. <laughs> Everyone can do it. Like, do it yourself. We can charge installation, but it's farmers not. also. Yes, it's gonna Great. be pre pre installed in the in the manufacturing plant, sent to it, and it just needs electricity and power up, nothing more. But we can as well <laughs> offer services. I mean, and monetize from that. And warranty? Warranty. It's uh, the sensor warranty. It's being transferred to the clients. Plus, we give uh, one year of standard warranty on the, on everything else. You have calculated this in the price? Excuse me? The warranty, you have calculated in the price? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the sales and marketing strategy? Sales and st marketing strategy is uh, direct contact uh, with uh, bigger companies. It's direct sales. Then via uh, forums, via uh, associations of farmers, via uh, direct uh, contacts as well, via social media, via because one of the target segment of the niche market is young farmers, which they all have smartphones and they all have smart apps and they are hungry for such uh, gadgets and technology. So it's a very also advertisement uh, in fairs, shows, everywhere. Yeah. Um, hi, Igor Maja from South Central Ventures. We actually consider Agritech a very fruitful space and to invest, and we already made a couple of investments in this field. Um, Agrivi is one of the companies we invested, uh, one of the top uh, in southeastern South Central Ventures uh, in Southeast Europe. The problem they had was selling to Macedonia to companies and individuals because they're not tech savvy. Uh, they don't know how to install technology and they want to do it in the traditional way. Uh, my question to you is, that was just an observation. My question to you is, uh, what are the companies you're actually testing this with? Do, do you already have companies? We? Yes. Yes, we have an agreement. I think in a week or two, we'll start the first with Vinery Pivka from Negotino. Okay. We have very positive feedback from two other much bigger players. I wouldn't expose now the names, but they are eager to see them and finance the trial and, uh, and then follow up with, uh, sale, with uh, uh, acquisition of equipment, etc. And do you think that you have the capacity for uh, scaling uh, outside this region? Because individual contacts, personal contacts is one yeah, thing, another one is... This is our advantage, but disadvantage for outside. <laughs> But this okay. is how we have to manage and develop a strategy for uh, expansion to regional markets. For our domestic market, we can cover it very quickly, quickly and very, uh, very well. Due to contact... And just technology side, uh, data, where is it stored and how you transfer it from the fields mm -hmm. to... Do you store the data or it's on their own service? It's being stored locally in the okay. field due to some power interruptions, mobile network outages, whatever. It will have limited storage on site, but it will go via mobile network for now, but in the future, any other standard like LoRa, like uh, all other possible standards will be able to be used to transfer to the cloud. And now the data for this uh, demo model is stored on the cloud on a special reserved place and from there you can access it and check everything. Okay, thank you. So it's working. Thank you very much.